Hey you guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. It's been almost two months since June's state of play, where we get the last bit of PSVR 2 news from Sony. So yeah, we were getting a little bit desperate for more information. Then today, July 26th, senior staff product manager at SIE, Yasuo Takahashi, dropped a PlayStation blog post entitled, Early Look at the User Experience for PlayStation VR 2. So let's blast through this article and see exactly what was revealed. Takahashi starts off by saying, the road to launch for PlayStation VR 2 is in full swing, and we can't wait for you to try the exciting new games and experiences you'll be able to explore with our next generation virtual reality headset. As we continue with our launch efforts today, we'd like to offer a quick peek at some of the user experience features you'll discover on PlayStation VR 2. Let's take a look. With PSVR 2, you can see your surroundings while wearing the headset with our new see-through feature. It comes in handy when you want to easily check where the PSVR 2 sense controllers are in your room without taking the headset off. Thanks to PSVR 2's embedded front cameras, users can press the function button on the headset or use the card in the control center to switch between viewing your surroundings or viewing the content on PSVR 2. The card in the control center also gives quick access to other PSVR 2 settings, such as adjusting your play area. Okay, okay, so what we've learned here is that there's a function button on the headset itself that lets you switch between views, which admittedly sounds super convenient for when you need to see what's happening in real life and easily switch back and forth from pass-through, which Sony is calling see-through, in the game. But it's really the menu that they're showing here that gives us even more information. You'll be able to adjust the screen brightness, the system screen size, which we generally refer to as the cinema screen, and as expected, you can turn the headset vibration on or off. A new broadcast feature for PSVR 2 will allow you to film yourself while playing by connecting a PS5 HD camera to the console. It's a great way to show your movements and reactions during a boss battle and share your reactions with your fellow gamers as it happens. Now this is interesting, because as someone who didn't think they needed the PS5 HD camera, it does seem like the new tech uses AI to automatically remove your background without the need of a green screen, which is awesome for streamers, including myself I guess. And if this image is to be believed, it does seem like we've finally rid ourselves of the terrible fisheye lens view when using the share button on the PlayStation VR 1. The play area for PSVR 2 can be customized by using the PSVR 2 sense controllers and the embedded cameras. The cameras will allow you to scan the room, while PSVR 2 sense controllers will allow you to expand and further customize the play area to fit your playstyle and room environment. While playing, if you get close to the boundary you have set up, you'll receive a warning that you're closely approaching the play area boundary. You can modify your settings at any time while PlayStation VR 2 is connected. Once you set up your play area, the setting will be saved unless you move to a different play area. This is all pretty important too. Now that you're able to move around your play space freely, you need to be aware of your surroundings. And the PSVR 2, from what our sources have told us, is actually really good at mapping your play space automatically just by looking around the room, which you can kind of see here in this video. It's also nice to know that this will be saved for the next time you play, because when you want to jump into a game quickly, the last thing you'll want to do is set up your play space again. The next thing Takahashi talks about is VR mode versus cinema mode. In VR mode, players can enjoy VR game content in a 360 view in a virtual environment. The content will be displayed in 4000 by 2040 HDR video format, which is 2K per eye, with 90Hz or 120Hz frame rate. In cinematic mode, players can view the PlayStation 5 system and UI and all non-VR game and media content on a virtual cinema screen. Content in cinematic mode will be displayed in 1920 by 1080 HDR video format with 24 or 60 hertz and also 120 hertz frame rate. Okay, so despite some oddities in Takahashi's wording, what this all implies to me is that we shouldn't expect a virtual environment for our UI. I could obviously be wrong, but it seems like the PSVR 2 home screen will simply be the PlayStation 5 home screen in cinematic mode. When it comes to getting the most out of PSVR 2 and saving memory for the things that matter, there are benefits here. But for those of us who just wanted to be blown away the second we put on the headset, it's a little disappointing. Takahashi concludes the blog post by saying, PSVR 2 game developers will begin to access the latest user experience for PSVR 2 in a new system software release coming soon as part of the ongoing development. There are lots of exciting things to look forward to for PSVR 2, and we can't wait to share more details about our next generation virtual reality headset that takes a dramatic leap forward in gameplay innovation. We'll share more information soon, including a launch date and additional games coming to the platform. 
All right, so, so far Sony has shown off Resident Evil Village, No Man's Sky, Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution, Horizon Call of the Mountain, and then made everyone wonder what the heck is going on with Resident Evil 4. And when you combine that with Jim Ryan stating that we'll have more than 20 major PSVR 2 games at launch, that leaves us with at least 15 slots to fill. All of our sources are still saying that PSVR 2 will launch in late February or early March of 2023. So hopefully this implies that we'll be getting a lot more information from Sony, either before their big showcase in September, or at the very least, PSVR 2 will have a major presence during that showcase. But stay tuned, because either way, PSVR 2 is almost here. It begins now. All right, you guys, it's all the breaking news I have for you today. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course, breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all.